Homosexuality and sport have been two aspects of life across the world that haven't been associated comfortably for a long time. At the elite level of sport, homosexuality is almost like a taboo, with the don't ask, don't tell motto being very much preferred. For those players who have come out openly about their sexuality, they have been shunned away. Lindsay Nutley is a sports contributor at Q News, Queensland's only gay and lesbian magazine. Away from his desk, Lindsay is involved in participating in sport, and being open about his sexuality he's found does contribute to how others perceive him as a player. Now, I'm relatively open about my sexuality, but in sport, I actually find myself sometimes wishing that people didn't know because it, you know, you become the, the gay swimmer or the gay touch footy player rather than being the person who, you know, who participates in that sport. It comes back to what people consider to be, you know, part of the team. And unfortunately, sexuality seems to be one of those things where it's almost like a deal breaker. So, what's the main issue with homosexuality in sport? Lindsay believes the main deterrent is trust. But it, it requires people to be really quite open and, and accepting and it needs for people to be able to trust each other. And I think the problem people have in, in particularly in team sports is there's this perception that sexuality undermines trust, that people are participating for some reason other than, than sport. Brisbane Hustlers are Brisbane's only gay and inclusive rugby union club and having won the 2014 Purchase Cup are on top of their game. Over the past year, the club has seen a 30% increase in players and a large supporters crowd attending each Saturday game. Andrew Johnston, a player on the team, and John Blunt, the Hustlers' captain, both know from experience that sexuality shouldn't be a consideration in the game. In fact, we've got both gay and straight on the hustlers, and when you're on the field, you're not thinking about anyone's sexuality. It's all just concentrating on what you need to do to win the game. Sexuality doesn't come into it at all. When you're out playing rugby, it's, it's rugby. It's not about your sexuality. Away from the success and growing popularity of the Brisbane hustlers, on a much larger scale, John Blunt believes the change is coming for homosexuality in sport. In the last 12 months, the most single-handed um, major shift that I have ever seen. And I think that's also contributing to, to the fact that we um, Sydney's holding the Bingham Cup, which is the Gay World Cup um, in, in August this year. So certainly there is a, there's a lot of support behind that as well. Darren Haggerty, the coach for the Brisbane Hustlers, believes that over time as more sports players speak out, the more accepted and tolerated homosexuality in sport will be in the future. To be frank, it's not a political issue, it's an individual issue. Uh, the more people that do come out, the more people that are comfortable and come out over time will make it easier for others, there's no doubt about that at all. Fiona Nicole, Senior Lecturer at the School of English, Media Studies and Art History at the University of Queensland, disagrees that having separate teams for homosexuals is on the right track for acceptance in the future. I don't think that these... Um, spaces as important as socially um, beneficial as they may be are, um, are going to do anything to address the issue, broader issues of stereotyping. While homosexuality remains somewhat of a taboo in professional sport, today the hustlers and their supporters at the South Rugby Club prove that once the whistle blows, it's all about the game. Yeah.